Alright, what's going on YouTube? We're back with another episode of... Wait, are we doing an RPG series again? Oh wait, this is a thing going on still? Oh man, what? Crazy. That I didn't know he was still doing the series. Yeah, I'm okay. Back, back from the uh, third person perspective of what all the viewers are probably thinking. Yes, I know, it's been such a terribly long time. Uh, multiple reasons um i would have gotten to this sooner but uh trips and busyness has been happening and on top of that i've been focusing on the fps series super hardcore but hey i'm back and i decided hey man i really really should get another rpg series episode out so i'm going to put out the episode that i actually remembered that i promised i would put out on how to make the attacking look better so previously our attacking was um well to be honest, it was uh, it was pretty bad. It uh, it looked it looked pretty much like like um, we were sliding across the floor like this, and obviously he's just standing still, and we don't want that. Um, and it looks bad. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. It's super quick, it's super simple, and it starts by deleting a variable. So uh, go to where your attack bool thing is, the left mouse button, and go to released. We see this attack set set attack false. Delete it. Boom. Now I'm gonna save it up here real quick. Anyways, let's uh, go to the tick and then off the sequence and uh, let's go to where the attack anim collapsed graph is. Now we've got all this stuff and that's all nice and fancy, but um, on attack uh, on branch uh, condition attack. Uh, well, well, normally it just looks like this. It just has uh, branch true going to the cast to the paladin anims, right? Now we need to add something different. So drag off and stop movement. Stop movement immediately is what we want, and it will automatically connect connect it through to to everything. So we can just drag it back. I'm gonna line up my my execution lines. And I'm gonna, by the way, try to get the RPG series up and going again. Uh, for those of you who were wondering, since this is not gonna be the one and only episode, we're gonna try and fix the AI. Not only his animations, but his behavior. And we're gonna make him not a moronic AI anymore. So that sounds fun, right? Anyways, um, so that's really all we need. Uh, except for one last part that I almost forgot. At the end of it, we need to drag off where set attack, the, with the question mark from from the anim graph is. We, we need to drag off that and set attack to false. So, which this one is the one that's right here. So you can just drag it off, set, connect it to this, make sure it's false, and you're all good. So now, what it will look like, uh, for, well, for one, it's going to look much better, but uh, it looks like that. So I'm pressing down the W, this whole, the forward key, this whole time. And it looks much better. Now obviously we're going we're gonna to make the attacking better later um, by adding combo, kind of combo systems, and adding other animations since we do have some other animations in here. But uh, anyways, so that's it. So now our attack attack looks oh so much better and uh, for some reason I can see into my character model during his idol that's that's not too good I don't I don't like that but uh wow I, I don't like this camera at all I, I feel like I should kinda of fix it it's it's whatever anyways so thanks so much for watching so uh, block with your shield always because you don't want to get hit and uh, why is the camera like rotated I feel like the camera is not looking straight Huh, I don't know. Sorry. And uh, yeah, so now the attack looks much better and he's not sliding across the floor. And uh, yeah, so we'll add some other attacks later in. But uh, that's just kind of fixing the attack. I thought I'd throw this episode out here to kind of just tease. Hey, I'm back hopefully to putting out more in definitely better quality uh, RPG series tutorials. So thank you so much for watching. Now that your attack movement looks better and uh, you're not dealing with like weird sliding across the floor stuff, you can be excited again because the series is kickstarted again. Well, not sadly, I don't have Kickstarter for my YouTube channel. I really should get that going. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Jeez, I just hit my mic. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked, 
you can like by hitting the like button because oh my gosh it's there and you can also subscribe because it helps helps me uh, to know that I'm drawing in more people and uh, that more new people are watching it or either that are people are creating duplicate accounts and subscribing but hey that's cool anyways anyways thank you so much for watching you can check out my other series and if you want personal lessons on how to make a very personal uh, uh, uh YouTube series or sorry no RPG game, you can uh, contact me, uh, tell me in the comment section, then we'll further the discussion on Skype or in your email, and I can give you some personal lessons. Not for free, of course, there is some pricing, so keep that in mind before you try and go on and say, hey, I want lessons, but it is there. If you would like personal lessons on uh, asking questions and how to do this and that or the other, that uh, A, either is inclu included in the tutorial, or B, that, well, I, I may not include it in the tutorial because I feel that that it's uh, too advanced or, you know, I feel like I should get some money for teaching that, at least more than YouTube pays me. So, that's there if you don't already know about that. Once again, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.